Happy Tuesday, friends. I'm so excited. We actually get our Peloton in like five minutes. Yesterday was a pretty hectic day. I had clients to see, um, clients to see, and just a lot going on. And we went I went grocery shopping yesterday. But the Peloton is about to be here, y'all. So that's exciting. living room is currently looking like this is our old couch we did get a new couch um still has some boxes left and then our kitchen as well nothing has really changed but we have unpacked a lot the only things that we haven't unpacked are like things that not that we can't unpack but they don't have a place yet and you know me i'm very much like if it doesn't have a home it's gonna get messy again so i'd rather wait till it has a home but let's work out. It is 7.36 in the morning. I'm gonna do a 30 minute ride. Maybe do a strength, something strength related. And then I'm gonna go ahead and shower for work. We have a seat cover. I got this back when I was riding more frequently. I used to be a, um, a cycle instructor, for anybody who doesn't know. Um, I used to teach spin at Gold's Gym, but I don't do that anymore. Um, so I do have a seat cover, because I know how uncomfortable it can be. That would help though. You think it will? I used to have, used to do, use this at my- um, Oh, was it nice? When I used to teach. Was it helping? It, it was helping a little bit, but I mean, the reality is, is that Ooh, it's gonna, it's always gonna hurt. Is that for your hair? Degree. No, this is to hold it. Okay. For your hair. Yeah, I was looking. I mean, what's happening? Y'all, 30 minutes. Done. So we're still unpacking, but this is how this TV looks mounted. Look, we're probably gonna upgrade the TV later on, but just gonna go ahead and clean up and pack some boxes down. temporarily set up our living room. We put the temporary blinds, our old couch that you just saw us move was here. We had our old table and we had the old entertainment center. We got the TV mounted. We're likely gonna get a bigger TV, but that's not the priority right now. Um, this is the new entertainment center that's gonna go up. And the old entertainment center actually broke while he was installing that. But it was one of those pieces that I was kind of doubtful if it was going to survive the move. So yeah, so now we're preparing for the couch to come in. So this is how this area is looking currently. 
Um, right here, we don't have anything different. We have our stools. These are too high, so I need to get counter height stools, but that's pretty much it. We have this table temporarily here, but we're probably gonna sell this one. So I wanted to tell you guys about the couch and how we got our couch less than a month later. Um, so if anybody's currently buying furniture right now, you know the furniture situation is crazy. Um, like really, really crazy right now. So what we did is that we originally bought a couch from Value City, City Furniture. Um, that couch from Value City Furniture, when we purchased it in February, was scheduled to come in May. We were like, that's a long time to wait, technically, if we're waiting to do like, you know, have people come over. Even though we had our temporary couch, it just didn't fit the space. And uh, your couch really determines how you're gonna do everything else, in a sense. So we couldn't get the couch, or we canceled the couch with Value City Furniture. And we tested a couch that we liked at Ashley Home Store, or one of the Ashley stores. We went there, we sat on it, we liked it. The thing about Ashley Home Furniture is they sell their couches to other retailers. Meaning like you can get an Ashley Home couch, whatever you call it, Ashley Signature couch from another retailer, but it's not technically Ashley Home Store. And that retailer can have it in stock. So we like the Ashley um, couch. It wasn't in stock with Ashley Home Store. However, I Googled, I searched, I looked all over online with the name, the specific name of the couch we wanted, and I found it, um, it was in stock with this company called Home Delivery, or Homemakers, um, and they're in Iowa. So the couch is even cheaper there, but because I'm getting it shipped from um, Iowa to Maryland, it was like an additional fee for shipping, but it was still less than the total couch we were gonna get from Value City Furniture, and it's a little bit bigger. So that's my advice. If you're going with Ashley Home Store, if you're going with, I think it's really only Ashley Home Store though, um, but if you're looking into them, you can search and find, see if, the, if other retailers have the couch. And my thing is only buy the couch if it's in stock, or if you want it, that's if you don't mind waiting. Only buy it if it's in stock. If it's not in stock, that means you're not getting your couch till later in the year, like six months out. But if it says it's in stock, that means all they're doing is shipping it. Um, so I think that's how I started to look. And then um, another win is that we got notified by Best Buy that our washer and dryer is going to be ready for delivery and set up on Friday. Meaning like, everything sped up. Best Buy, we were willing to wait for the washer and dryer, but we're happy that we didn't have to wait, honestly. Um, we, we waited a month, I guess, give or take, but still, um, we were able to get that in quickly. So, more home updates to come. This is Big our couch. So far, this is what it looks like. We haven't fluffed it or anything, but this is the. What, couch, what is this couch called? Raw Cliff, I think. So it has. This is how the fabric looks up close, but when you're far away, it just looks cream. Which is what we wanted it to look like. So. Shout out to everyone working from home and trying to balance life. Um, so you probably won't see me talking too much in this clip, but I am putting together the entertainment center that is going to go underneath the TV. Um, so I was trying to think about it, like, t like tweak it out. But honestly, this entertainment center was a headache to put up, to say the least. It was like terrifying. Um, but, you know, Sam, because we're both working, so we are helping each other um, periodically. So I do want to say that. And I also want to say um, that there are a lot of videos on YouTube about putting this Besta unit together. I would definitely watch it. It's very customizable, similar to the IKEA PAX um, closet system. So I would definitely go online, build it out, and see what you come up with. Um, because the piece that I wanted to buy, the whole piece was actually out of stock at the um, Ikea that was close to me, but I found when I was building it and I was customizing it, all of the pieces that I needed to customize it were in stock at the location. So I just went ahead and went there, put it together, thought it through, and here we are, almost there. So you guys will see the finished product. Today we're getting our washer and dryer delivered. So this area will be full with that. We have the shelf up there. Um, nothing too special in there. 
So before I close out this home update vlog, I do want to show you how everything came together so I don't leave you hanging. Um, so let's start with the washer and dryer. We ended up going with General Electric. This is the washer and this is the dryer. This is kind of the same exact unit we had at our apartment complex. So we were cool with going with that. We're not really picky. Um, the only thing after using this a little bit, the only thing I wish that I could change about this um dryer system is that it doesn't i don't know if i can change the how loud it buzzes at the end especially with it being upstairs i can foresee that you know being an issue so if i can like figure out how to turn that off or turn it down so it's not so loud um that would be what i would change but yeah that's how this area is looking this is our guest room so we didn't buy anything new for the guest room we already had the headboard these are the pillows that used to be on our couch that we're putting here for now so this is not really a priority but eventually i want to put like shelves here maybe paint the wall things like that add like the side tables but yeah that is the guest room so first things first i will say it was a headache to put this together but it was very worthwhile um and it really makes the space it brings it all together so ignore the rug that you're about to see we just put that there because you know we have it right now but ignore that that will be switched out and ignore the table so ignore like those things but then look at everything else okay so this is currently how that looks it's that float it has the um we put it on the wall so it gives the floating effect um so we put the brown doors with the white frame so these are just the two you guys saw me put this together it was the two pieces um that we put together and we hung that from the wall and it is off center purposely uh we're gonna probably do like a i said a big vase sam doesn't think we should do a big vase but something big over here uh just to kind of pull everything together so with the couch it looks really really good very very happy so we still have more more to do more to work out Okay, so now I'm back in the office. So much happened in this vlog. I took my hair out, my nails changed, a lot of, thing, a lot of things changed. Um, but I do just wanna say thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for the love and the support that so many people showed on that last video of us buying the home, financing the home actually. But you know, we really do appreciate it. And um, for the people who are joining me for the first time, I am a registered dietitian. We like finance, I like lifestyle, I like beauty, I like fashion. Um, I like all of these things and trying to find a way to like fit it all together is really the purpose and the goal that I have here on this channel. So if that interests you, thank you so much for tracking along. I understand it's not like, you know, people really want like focus type videos, but it's really hard for me to personally to commit to that right now as I'm trying to like find my footing, my step, like where I belong, where I fit in. So. I do appreciate that. If you like this video, please let me know. If there's anything you guys want to see regarding the home, we're definitely open it, open to it. Um, we're currently not. I, we kind of have a direction of where we want to go with everything. Um, so we're just trying to see how that pans out. Um, furniture is crazy right now. We are going with the flow. We did not expect to get a cream couch. I always wanted a cream couch, but Sam didn't want a cream couch. But now we're, we have a cream couch and we didn't actually plan our living room with the idea of having this colored couch. Um, it was gonna be a different color completely. We are satisfied and happy. I'm satisfied, I'm happy with how everything is coming together. So we're just kind of taking it as it comes. And right now the review of the couch is that it does, it, if it's what, we are, what we're looking for, um, it is very deep and it can sink very low. So if that's something that um, you would be concerned for you, I would definitely look into that. But. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I can't wait to see you in the next video.